Three years ago, we started to plan a canoe trip, seven days on the Nipissing River. Then COVID came and we had to cancel. The next year, we had to cancel again because of another lockdown. It's 2022 and we're finally doing an epic canoe trip on Algonquin Park's Nipissing River. Let's get started. Okay, so we're currently out on uh, Tim Lake. We paddled in from Access Point 2 in Algonquin Park, the Tim River. We're on Tim Lake, just passing between the two islands. Uh, we're gonna cross Tim Lake back onto the Tim River and paddle over to Rosebury. And that's where we're gonna end today. From there, tomorrow we're gonna jump on to the Nipissing River, but we've got a quite a large portage to get from the Tim River up to the Nipissing, but we'll deal with that as it comes. Super nice to be out here. The smell of uh, the pines, you know, the leaves are coming out, so it's got the really nice light green. Um, weather is really warm, actually, warmer than average. And uh, yeah, already saw a couple loons, red-winged blackbirds. Um, black flies are out. I may have been bit once, but they're kind of swarming, but that's okay. So anyway, the guys are waiting for me, so I'll get going. So we just got to the uh, first portage down here on the Tim River. Um, portages, Tim River to Tim River, there's this dam. I don't know why they put the barricade, but I guess maybe something's happened in the past, but uh, you know, danger sign and everything, but yeah, I guess it's needed. So see if I can have a look at this sign. I can't remember how far it is. It's not very far at all. I think it's like 200 meters or something. It's 120 meters. So happy we're finally doing this. <laughs> so happy we're finally doing this? Yeah, yeah me too.
Okay, so we're on uh, Rosebury Lake, just got to our campsite. Uh, the one I like was taken, but uh, yeah, we've got one on the, what is this, north side? No, no. no. probably the west. west side. West side of the park, west, west side of the lake. So, yeah, but it'll do. Um, how was the paddle for you guys? Nice, Very serpiginous. 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 Ah, like serpiginous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Can't use that. Well, there's a fatwood cot. <laughs> You're succeeding in front of the whole world. Black flies are getting worse. What time is it anyway? It is 4.59. 4.59. We were wondering if black flies get worse as the sun goes down. We can't remember. I think yes. I think they are. Yeah. So, anyway, getting the fire started. Thanks, Derek. No problem. Whose ferro rod was it? It was yours. <laughs> <laughs> it was my... Because Derek's is... Like, my fat wood, though. <laughs> yeah, his fat wood. So... <laughs> <laughs> but fire started, so hopefully that'll help keep the black flies away. I'm doubtful, but we need it to cook the steaks. So today we're paddling from Rosebury to High Lake, or just past High Lake. Up to what I think is called High Dam. Okay, so that first portage was 400 meters, and now we're just crossing Floating Heart Lake. Then it's a 1300 meter portage, so one kilometer, 300 meters. Of course, we have to do that three times, so carry whatever, carry the canoe across, walk back, and carry like food or whatever on the next. Usually it's the big bag. Um, and what we're doing is we're getting onto, uh, I'm just looking at the map, it's a Loon Tail Creek. And that's going to take us up to the Nipissing River. So we're going to be traveling on Loon Tail, Tail Creek. Uh, yeah, for a lot of the day. Um, we'll do this 1300 meter portage, we'll paddle a bit, then a 845 meter portage, paddle a bit, and then Loon Tail Creek will connect into the Nipissing River. So, yeah, it's really nice to be back in Canada and doing this trip and great to be back out with uh, Derek and Jeff. We've paddled a few times. I'll put a link somewhere up to our last trip in uh, Magnetolon and uh, you can check that out. We also went to uh, Tomogamy uh, two years ago. So, yeah, it's good, it's nice. It's quiet out here. And uh, I think Nipissing River is going to be 
quieter. Hopefully we see some wildlife, but you never know. Even more, hopefully we catch some trout later on. I would definitely like to catch some trout. So like high falls is around this big. Oh, look at that. The portage from Latour Creek to Loontail Creek. I didn't realize this one was 845 meters. That's not very friendly either. 845 meters. This cake compared to 1300 and we just slayed it, so. <laughs> Fair enough. We slayed it. <laughs> I used to like portages. I thought they were a way, you know, just to stretch my legs, get out and hike. Then I realized I was wrong. Oh, bad knees. Okay, so portage done from Latour Creek. This is now Loontail Creek. And we will follow this. It'll connect with the Nipissing River. And the next stop is to find a campsite. Okay, so we just pulled to shore over here, so we'll try a few casts. There's a bit of a current and an eddy. Uh, with some luck, there'll be a little brook trout hiding in there. Oh. 
He's a jumpy guy. Pretty little, pretty little brook trout. To a small portage. There's two campsites out here, and yeah, we're just checking them out, having a look at the river, deciding where we're going to spend the night. Hey, how's it going? Camera's facing this way. You're looking at the screen. <laughs> Don't oh. you see that's me oh, in the screen? <laughs> oh, for a minute there, I thought I got better looking. Yeah. No, <laughs> still ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so Derek made dinner tonight. Uh, pesto pasta with chorizo and garlic naan and Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. And we're waiting for dessert, but uh, yeah, we're getting some thunder, a bit of lightning here and there, some light rain. So we're sitting under my tarp. It's cozy. Very, very possible though. <laughs>